can't get the West without the ES. So it's manifested that we connect. Choke, no joke, OG Patrice. Salute, OG Patrice. <laughs> OG Patrice, call me after the show's over. I got something to tell you. All right. Cinnamon. What I'm getting? Wham. Cinnamon. Wham, girl. Let me get some water real quick. Shout out to my girl, Kimmy Love, too. All right. <sighs> Choke no joke, we in the building. Let's get straight to it. It's late night. I ain't going to hold you and prolong. But if you didn't know, now you know. This thing of Boosie is bad luck, bro. Lil Boosie is bad luck. Can you imagine BG comes home after all these years and gets violated because he go to a concert with goddamn bad luck Boosie. This thing in Boosie is like the opposite of a rabbit's foot. This thing is bad luck, bro. Ain't nothing but fucking bad luck around this nigga Boosie, man. God damn, bro. How long we been waiting for BG to come home? Boosie no better than be having this nigga around him, bro. Come on, man. Outside in the building, I see you. There won't be no Hot Boys reunion now. That's out the window. Seven months, seven months after High Boys rapper BG was released after spending 12 years in prison, a recent arrest for probation violation threatens to send him back behind bars. BG could possibly return to prison for violating his parole with his performance alongside Boosie Badass at a Las Vegas concert this past February. Last Wednesday, March 27th, the former High Boys rapper was reportedly arrested and then released on his own recognizance in Las Vegas, where he currently resides. On Thursday, March 28th, BG's friend OG Freeze jumped on his YouTube channel to update fans of BG well-being in the video, which can be viewed below. Freeze revealed that BG was released from jail but faces a federal, a federal court date in New Orleans on his parole violation. The man has come home doing his little thing. He ain't bothering nobody. Just trying to get his life back on track. 
Free said in the clip. He ain't doing nothing different than no other rapper. OG Freeze also showed the text message on his smartphone screen that he said was from Dorsey and read in part one. I just got out of jail. How did BG violate his parole? The Guardian reported that a federal probation officer stated in the court documents that one of the conditions governing BG's supervised release from prison was to obtain prior written approval before entering self-employment. BG, real name Christopher Noel Dorsey, hadn't done so before performing with Boosie at a Las Vegas show on February 8th. Additionally, since Boosie himself is a convicted felon, the two rappers performing together was a violation of a federal supervised release statute that prevented parolees from associating unnecessarily with convicted felons. The Guardian has also reported that BG's probation officer wasn't happy about uh, his joint project with Gucci Man, who is also a convicted felon. At one point, BG's probation officer had a conversation with him regarding his employment options. The officer advised the 43-year-old rapper uh, to seek alternative employment opportunities. According to the Guardian's BG response was, I'm a rapper. That's my profession. BG was released from prison uh, in September of 2023 after serving uh, over a decade in prison following his guilty plea for federal weapons stemming from a 2009 arrest. I want to know where his, uh, how much more time he had left. Let me see, what was he sent this to? Fourteen years. So, and he did twelve. So they could send him back for twenty-four months tops. I don't think he'll get more time for the violation. But he was sitting the 14 years, he did 12 years. That means he had two more years left on his sentence. With two more years left on his sentence, he just sent his ass back to jail, possibly for two more years, tops. I'm not sure how the federal thing works, if he could, uh, get more time but that nigga boosty ass is bad luck man <laughs> niggas like this is the the epitome of when keeping it real go wrong you know what i'm saying he gonna come and say man i man i got permission man my parole officer said i could go man Man, man, go do those two years, nigga. Yeah. And then Boosie should know off top. Like, these niggas are so such fucking, uh, what do you call it? Street educated. They know everything about the streets. They know about jails and and, and crimes and, and, and all this shit. But don't know the state of F away from a nigga. So a nigga, instead of you getting your little clout and all that shit for the moment, knowing that this nigga gonna get violated, knowing he gonna get in trouble, like y'all niggas take a chance. I high boys reunion. Uh pause for uh another two years, y'all.
Now, that him doing the album with Boosie is one thing. Because they could fly music to each other. They ain't got to be in the studio together. They ain't got to be around each other. He ain't got to be with no felon. Going to do a concert with this nigga is not the smartest move, bro. Stay low, bro. Just stay low till you get off parole, man. Then do what you want to do. Do what you got to do. Just stay low. It's only two years. Two years and you off. This nigga go back to jail for that shit. I know Birdman gonna be mad as fuck. Like, nigga, we was about to get the bag. We was about to do this reunion, and you let this little nigga... Disappointed in BG. That's my guy. Stay DL. <laughs> yo, uh, yo, BG, man. You see this right here? Stay low, baby. Stay DL. <laughs> stay off the stay out of the stay low, bro. Stay low, man. They say, can you imagine going to jail for 12 years and come home and go back to jail for doing a concert? Just because your your pro say, hey, hey, man, you can't be around no felons. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Until you get off this supervised release. And then they could go and do a concert with all people. Bad luck, boozy badass. Bad luck, boozy badass. Let me get on to the next story. Because this one is, it, 